Merry Christmas everyone, this is Maria Loves Art. We will be working on this bookshop and printery. I started on December 3rd and finished December 19th. This was very challenging. Let's see what's inside. So here we have the story of this kit. If you want to check it out, you can do it online. So the first part is actually the balcony. Then it does have the gates and then the sides and all the little trimmings. Here are some of the pieces to the kit. Some are wood pieces and some are acrylic. I will take them out later and show you how small they are. It's incredible. This set is very miniature and some do have cases. A lot of these things are very delicate. So I just love the color of these rugs. They are turquoise, pink, and dark rose. They are very soft and they do need to be cut out. Here we have the stained glass windows. They will need to be cut out. They're very beautiful and delicate with peacock designs. This structure kit is laser cut from MDF and wood. Here is the itty bitty village set. There is a staircase in this package. Here we have a lot of little pieces of furniture and items that need to go in the house. I will need to put them in some warm water with some dish soap and leave them for 30 minutes. So this is the warm water I have and I'm gonna add some dish soap. Just mix it up a little bit and then I will be pouring it in the cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some in the cups. I don't need that much, just a little bit at a time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add each of these little pieces into the cups. These things are super small. This is a little table and a couple other tables. This set has the 3D printed sofa and two 3D printed chairs. You can paint it any color you want. Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and let them soak with everything else for 30 minutes. I am rinsing these items off just to make sure that I get all the soapy water off. I do have a little plug underneath the sink and I have a strainer just in case. I don't want my little pieces to go down the drain. I'm gonna go ahead and do these to all the pieces that I put in the little cups. So here are all the little pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry. And once they're dry, I will be able to paint them. So I went ahead and put all the pieces back in their little containers and bags. I'm gonna go ahead and label the bag that it came in just so that way I can know that these have already been washed and they'll be ready for painting. So I was gonna go to sleep, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash these items also. I'm gonna just soak them for 30 minutes and then rinse them out. And let them dry. So I have quite a bit of pieces here. I'm gonna do the same thing for all these. I'm gonna hit it, put the little pieces inside this warm water and soap. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them for 30 minutes. So here are a lot of little packs here. I'm not sure what it looks like inside, but I'm gonna go ahead and open one up and just see what's going on with this really beautiful. The packaging is so pretty. I'm going to try to be careful not to rip it. It's sealed pretty good. Oh, wow, this is 
extremely delicate. There's some wire here. I'm going to have to assemble and paint and glue all of this. Super fine. Let's go ahead and see what is inside here. Wow. All I can say is, wow, this is super small. It's supposed to look like this. So I'm going to have to paint it and assemble it. Wish me luck. Okay, one more. This work table here looks like this. So I'm gonna have some assembly and painting that needs to be done. These are already washed. I'm going to go ahead and let them dry a little bit and then I'll be placing them back in their containers that they came in and get them ready to paint. I did have to sand a lot of these items. Afterwards, I did wipe them off with a paper towel. This little piece here was one of my favorite pieces. It did require several layers of paint and then I did add a sealer, but you will see at the end, it is quite the little piece. I was so nervous about starting this whole project, but then once I started painting, I became so comfortable and I just had a great time with it. Right now I'm using a little pen to apply these little gold dots. As soon as I finish one item, I wanted to start another one. This does require a lot of patience. This is a straight pen I use to apply the gold. This little 3D printer table will have a marble effect. I had a lot of fun painting this table using the marble technique. This sideboard table is supposed to look like wood, marble, and gold leaf. It was another favorite. I just think the whole transformation just made it look so great at the end. Here is my favorite part coming up. Just applying the little specks of gold leaf to this little piece. Imagine using a light so you can see a headlight and also magnifying glass and some glasses. That's how tiny these pieces were. Here are the completed pieces. And if you would, check out the gold and marble-like tables. Here we have some 3D tables. Here I am sending some pieces down. I have to use a mask for this. These are the bookends. I'm using some tweezers to apply some gold. These are so tiny, it's hard for me to hold them.
so this project is not mine, but I was very lucky to be able to do it for someone. It has been with them for quite a while, and so I had this opportunity to build all this and paint it. I went for it, and I was afraid I was going to run out of time. It needed to be done by December 19th, and we were able to complete it. I did work on it on my birthday, but it didn't seem like work at all. It was just a lot of fun. I will be adding some glue and then I will be attaching two pieces together. These mini pillows came out adorable. I am adding some batting. It will be inside the pillow when I fold it. So after I trimmed the fabric, the fabric did have a little lining that I had to take off. And then I put the little polyfill piece in, glued it, and then closed it. Once I painted it, I am adding a sealer on top. For this printer's toolkit, I will be taking the little pieces apart. There are some rough edges of acrylic that I need to take off, so I'm using this little cutter. And then I will sand it and clean it up a little bit with the cloth. With these little pieces of acrylic, I have to be very careful when I'm taking them off so that way they will not break. If it has any rough edges, it needs to be trimmed off and then sanded down. They have to be handled very carefully.
You see the dark lines around all the little images to cut out? Once it's cut out, those little dark lines have some kind of powder to them. I have to make sure to clean all the black powder off. It just leaves a mess and it's harder to paint. For this kit we did have to paint some petal stools. I had my daughter do that and I did the painting for the ivy. Each little leaf needed to be painted. For these miniature leaves I am using an extra fine brush and a couple of acrylic green colors. I'm going to paint the front and then the back. Now it's time to take them off. I will be using an X-Acto knife and some tweezers. Here's where the magic happens. I am going to be using this mouse pad. I'm going to use an embossing tool and put some pressure on it. This will cause the leaf to fold up. This is a little tricky because they're so, so, so tiny and it's hard to get them with my fingers. But once they all have a beautiful little shape, they all do look great. So here I have some wire and what do you think is going to happen? Well, you guessed it. I am going to apply each little leaf onto this wire. Can you see that little leaf? It's hard to see, but it's right there. Now I have to add more. Once the glue dries, it will dry clear. Here we have some palm leaves. These are going to be so easy because they're so much bigger. So it's going to be a lot of fun to paint them. So I left out some steps to this video, but it would have took way too long to put every single little thing that I had to do for each little project. My daughter did do the moss thing and I added some foam to the little flower arrangements. So some of the kits were kind of tough to figure out. Each little section was not labeled. It was like a puzzle piece. And I just had to be very careful not to glue something together that didn't need to be glued. I did try to dry fit it before I actually glued the pieces together. These mirror and art frames were pretty heavy for its size. I will be gluing them to the wall.
Here is an adorable little piece. I did have to cut out the little pieces of books. The little fabric had to be filled with polyfill. Everything had to be glued down and the pieces were not labeled. So it was another mystery to figure out. I had already assembled so many of these wood pieces together without any kind of information telling me what is what and how to put this and that together. So I was getting comfortable and it was beginning to be very fun for me. So if you see any kind of little paper with color to it, it had to be cut out. Everything had to be cut out, sanded and painted. I love this. This is actually labeled and it does help so much. At this point, I feel like I'm an expert at building these miniature little furniture pieces. I can remember being so afraid to touch one of these and then it all started to come together and made me feel so good. You see these teeny tiny little beads? I'm going to have to put them on the furniture and then paint them. So right here, I am adding some really thin little boards. The ones on the left are going to go on top of the cabinet so I'm applying some glue and then I will put the little strips on top. So it makes it a little tough when the glue is sticky. It doesn't want to let go of the little board. It does seem almost impossible, but it does get done. So on the left side, I do have some of the beads applied already. Now I'm just getting some glue and then adding more of the beads. You would think I would have started with this piece because it's so small, but I actually tried to avoid it because I knew the smaller the pieces were, the harder it would be to pick up and work with. On top of my pinky, I did put the little house so you can see how little it was.
I'm letting the pieces dry. We used three tables for this project. So we went ahead and painted all the pieces and they are stained. They're done front and back. And what I did was I actually labeled what it was so that way I can know. Here's some more. I let them dry overnight. So all these little pages here are going to need varnishing and cutting out. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on all these. As you can see, they are labeled, thankfully. So that's what I'll be doing for a little while. So here's a little example of what I'm doing. I'm using parchment paper because I'm gonna varnish and I don't want anything to stick the paper to stick to the varnish on the cardboard that I have here for support. And I'm using a cutter also, which helps cut everything much better than just using some scissors. For some spots, I do need the scissors, like this little edges, but um, for the most part, I'm trying to use this cutter here, which has been helping me a whole lot. And it has really clean lines. So here I have the stained glass windows. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out and then put them aside until I need them. I'm getting ready to assemble the house itself. So it'll be a while. Wish me luck. These were the glues that I did use for the project. So here we have all the little pieces that we painted, sanded, and worked with. This project was amazing, fun, challenging, and I can't believe we actually did it. I'm ready to do another one. When I put it in the box and covered it, I just looked at it and I could not believe it. It was just so beautiful. I wish y'all could all see it in person. It just looks so much better. I went ahead and glued the rugs down and the two fireplaces. I also added the windows and the artwork. And the staircase in the back. I would love to make another one, so if you need one made, I'm right here. Just send me a message. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas, and this was a Christmas miracle.